So you might be curious about the Roomba device or you've already bought a Roomba device like this one here and uh, you're we're using it for a while it, it runs great I really like this actually it runs great I don't have to uh, bring out my big vacuum cleaner uh, the only thing it is it might be kind of expensive but what happens is that after you use it for a while you can see that the brush here at the back when I turn it over, it's uh, broken. This one brush has broken off. There's two are still left here. Um, there's other brushes in here, but uh, all you have to do is a uh, periodic cleaning. And here is where the dirt goes into the back here. Is uh, an air filter you can see in there. So periodically you have to replace that or it just gets too clogged up and it uh, puts a lot of stress on the motor. And what will happen is that the motor will burn out. And also, you have to clean this up. I recently cleaned it up, so it's not that dirty. Uh, you need to clean this up, remove any hairs or other dirt that's trapped in here. Um, a good scissor will cut out all the hairs in here. And you just pull it and throw it in the garbage. It's a little dirty, but it'll, it'll work. Um, the reason why you have to clean that again is that your motor is going to burn out if uh, there's a lot of stress. And then plus, it's not going to clean very well either. Uh, in here, you take off these two screws to remove the battery. Uh, this video is not going to show how to remove the battery, but I can just tell you that if you do remove these two screws and this whole shell will come off, there's a compartment that uh, you can just put a battery in. It's just like any other battery. Uh, it's a big square one, but if you get, get it on Amazon, uh, one for your uh, size of this uh, machine, the proper size, proper model, you can just drop it in there and reattach all the screws. It's very easy. But today in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to replace this because it's broken. This is actually on its probably second or third one brush and the filter in here, which you need to replace periodically also. Now, what I did is I went on Amazon. Um, you have to pick the right one for your vacuum, actually, and you pick the right one uh, that can go here so this one it says upstart um, I just thought that this was a good price uh, for the amount I got I got a whole huge bag full of it huge bag here there's more filters and and brushes there so um, I have plenty enough it comes with a little screw here now I've heard around that this little screw it's not as good as the original screw that it comes with here um, simply because over time this screw will come off this one here so I will always use the original screw so that's just one thing you have to be careful about not to use the new screw here that comes with this and then you throw away this screw uh, that screw is always better it will keep it there and the filter packs come with three as you can see still called upstart comes with three so I already opened up a pack and I have a package here that I am gonna use that and put it in there so we can just begin I'll start off with the easier part which is just pulling off the back canister you press underneath there's a button you pull it out and you see here it's a little dusty you just open that up easy as that you just pull this out there's some clips here you can pull by the side and it's very very dirty as you can see you just put it aside here and you just get your replacement very easy so this these uh, vacuum cleaners are very good because uh, very easy to maintain very good to put all your replacement parts on so you just push that in through those little tabs here and these are not the original filters, but they're very, very close to them. And they look almost exactly like the originals. So I'm very happy with that. And then you just put this back in here. I press the button and I think it's in there quite sturdy now. Now, another thing I forgot to mention about this, that you may see some brushes, uh, not three on on it 
but you might see one with a lot more than three, maybe about four or more. Um, you think, oh wow, more brushes the better. I think it'll work really well. Well, I heard that those brushes may look pretty cool and there's quite a bit there. But um, the more brushes you have, what happens is that as this Roomba goes around your room, it will, uh, because there are so many brushes, there's so much resistance and it doesn't spin very well and it won't clean very well either. So it'll just be trapped and it, it may just start stopping. So anyways, that's one piece of advice there. I'm going to go here and I'm going to open this part now. So I got my trusty screwdriver, not a battery, but a screwdriver. And I'm going to go in here. And as simple as that, you just uh, unscrew. Now, my wife has been using this for quite a while, and she said that uh, what happens is that this brush uh, doesn't want to turn anymore because there's so much hair trapped in it, I guess. Look at this hair. Quite a bit of hair. So I'm going to remove that hair. And that's it. Simple as that. Throw that in the garbage. Now, you can just open this part up. This part is part... VPRM BS H3 and it comes in a huge kit with mini brushes and filters as I mentioned now there is a small screw here I'm not going to use that I'm going to use the original screw because it's it's going to work much better so let's see how it fits it's just a hexagonal shape you put this screw back in there. And you can fix it. So just make sure you don't cross thread this. It's all made out of plastic here. So what you do is um, put this on like this and it should be good. Now you can just toss this piece away. And when you, it, now this device won't run unless you put it down. So what we do is we just turn it on. You can see the brush, it's gonna spin. Let's just move some of the things away. You can see that it's gonna spin. So we just turn that off and that's it. Thank you for watching the video. We are done.